VHS Wall. I am Mike Pelly, joined by Allison. How are you? Oh, and Allison has Chew with her little dog, a little tiny dog that sucks. How are both of you? <laughs> uh, we're fine. You might as well put the mic to Chew because he's the bark he king. He won't say anything right now. Oh, he's silent at the moment. Uh, we are joined by Jason and Mac. How are the two of you? Big fan. Glad, <laughs> glad he could be here with us. Sure. <laughs> Mac, how are you, sir? I am doing just fine. Thanks for having me. Mike You're welcome. Pelly. I'm sorry it's so hot in the apartment. It's, it's okay. Uh, it's a hot ass night, baby. <laughs> if, if I remember correctly, we were talking one night and it was Jason Baxter brought up the Punisher and said that we should do it. So here we are doing it. And uh, and Mac brought uh, brought the the video, which I bought at a pawn shop in Bellingham, Washington. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. That's where it would be. This movie fucking rules. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm hearing, and I'm really excited. Uh, so I'm just gonna read off this synopsis real quick, if you guys don't mind. Go ahead. Let me just dive r- dive right off. Yeah. Frank Fine. Castle kills everyone. <laughs> Is that just the? Is that it the summed just up be version? That in like huge block letters and then pictures of Dolph Lundgren shooting machine guns because <laughs> that's what you are gonna get. It's gonna kill a lot of uh, casino machines. Yeah. <laughs> well, let, let's Dude. see. Let's see uh, and you guys tell me if this really is what the movie is. The avenging angel of Marvel Comics comes brilliantly to life. This in this. Uh, searing action adventure thriller. Dolph Lundgren stars as Frank Castle, a veteran cop who loses his entire family to a mafia car bomb. Only his ex partner, uh, played by Louis Gossett Jr., believes Castle survived the blast to become the Punisher, a shadowy, invincible fighter against evil who lives for total revenge on his bomb. <laughs> <laughs> on his on his bomb on his bomb enemies on his mob enemies is what I meant to say. Lashing from uh, a labyrinth of subterranean sewers, the Punisher in all caps leads a heavily armed raid into a world of brutal crime and savage retribution. A world where only one thing is certain: the guilty will be punished. Oh, fap 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 fap. Great, let's do it. Yeah, dude. Have you seen the other Punishers? I was just about to bring this up. I did. Um, at War and we Zone, all watched saw... Daredevil season two, so we all have our probably preferred oh, Punisher. Oh, sure. So there's like technically four. There's yeah. four yeah, Punisher yeah. versions out there. That's crazy. So um, this I'm is go- a I'm... comic book character. Yes. Okay. He exists in the Marvel universe. Okay. And I'm saying of the four, this is legitimately the best. Is it the first one? Yes. Okay. All right. So before we get started. I just want to let anyone know who's listening, you can actually uh, watch the movie along with us. We're going to watch this movie live. I've never seen it, which is pretty cool. Uh, So you can watch it, too, with us as we comment Mystery Science Theater style uh, on Vimeo.com slash What's Up Seattle. That's where it's being stored right now. So you can go ahead and check that out uh, or just keep listening to this podcast. We're going to do a little synopsis after we're done watching the movie and um, let you know what... uh, uh, what we all think so uh next you hear from us we will have seen the movie all right see you guys in a bit It has a lot going for it. Uh, So okay, so here we go. Um, Basically, these we just I I just saw this movie the first time. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I uh, don't know if I like it as much as other Punisher versions. I'm sorry. Um, Really, I I know that Mac and Jason could definitely disagree with that. Um, What What do you guys have to say? You know, as far as my opposition to it being the best Punisher portrayal, like uh, personally for me, mm-hmm. uh, what I've gathered from this film is it's that, the, the, you know, I'm like a big fan of of action adventure films. Um, and, and I think it has that going for it. It also does a lot of cool things with the character as far as like making him more of a, like have these uh, like lifeless eyes, you know, like, like it, you, you look at Dolph Lundgren and, and like, there's these, uh, you just don't see anything there. 
Like, I just feel like, and, and that, that's good for the character. And like, are you saying that he has dead eyes, like a doll's yeah, eyes? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, and 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 I think that's a good thing for the character. However, um, I. Do think that in comparison, now we're in 2016 and we've seen three other versions of the character portrayed uh, uh, since this film came out in 1989. Um, I I I don't I don't know where this movie stands with me. I mean, like I do prefer it over the uh, attempt at a Punisher film after this one, which is in like 2006, starring I don't know what his name is. I forgot his name. Thomas Jane. At the uh, time, is, was that when he was Tom Jane? Just quick. Was side he thought. doing a time? No, no, no. It was, was Thomas post? Jane. It was Thomas Jane. Interesting. Yeah, Interesting. post Deep Blue Sea. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, that movie. Yeah, I know what you're getting at. <laughs> that that movie, in my opinion, is not bad. It's not good by any means. But uh, mm, but I it's di- bad. I, it's it's like not that fun. It has it, it has stuff going for it for sure. Yeah. Um, it, there's certain sections that are like very faithful. Th- to the comics, but there but, are uh, cer- certain sections that, like, you know, I mean, we do have like uh, John John whole, Travolta just, trying yeah, to like, yeah, he's oh, probably uh, the worst part of the film. Anything with John Travolta in that movie is <laughs> nonsense. Not nonsense, and like him getting dragged by a oh, it's real bad. Chain yeah, I by that, a car yeah. and then like making a flaming skull in the parking lot. It's so stupid. Uh, the other thing is uh, there was a film that came out after, after that called uh, Punisher War Zone, directed by a gal. Uh, I don't know her name, but Lexi she Alexander. She fucking rules, man. And uh, like, honestly, high five. Good job, good yeah. job, you guys. Um, I, she like, like Punisher Wars to me is kind of almost like a weird like art film as far as like you like it, like Dread, you know, like that movie Dread that wow. came out not that long ago. It's just like this weird abstract thing. Uh, but honestly, I, I still think those films are very abstract. I think they're both very like linear. Like, colorful and inventive, I would say. But the stories themselves are just straight up, like, we're going to this place. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I th- just like, I'm, oh, go ahead, Jason. No, I just, I, I think probably needs to say they're just, like, kind of niche. Like, simple stories. Right. Very... Uh, so, so that's, that's just kind of where I'm staying with it. Um, still, I'm, I'm very satisfied with the depiction on the second season of Daredevil. I know you guys feel different about that. But, like, for me, yes. as, as not... Not so much of a Punisher enthusiast, you know. Like I still, I, I'm still happy with the portrayal of him. In I, I relate more, and actually not relate, but like that would be really dark if I related to him. But uh, you know, like I, I got uh, more enjoyment out of seeing um, a character arc for him in that second season of uh, Daredevil. Allison, um, this is your. Fr- you actually didn't even know we were going to be watching a super. <laughs> Marvel superhero film today. I didn't tell her uh, that oh, uh, that it was going to be a, Sorry. a, a um, yeah uh, masculine <laughs> male driven killer upper film today. But how did you feel about it? Uh, if you didn't tell me he was a he was a comic book character, then I wouldn't have known in this movie because there's it's not like any of the new movies. Mm-hmm. Um. No, yeah, it plays like a just like what could be a normal action movie. Yeah, um, I, I liked it. Oh, you did good. Yeah, I mean, there, it was fine. But overall, it's kind of mad. <laughs> it's sounding pretty mad right now because <laughs> yeah, Alice is not the biggest of the superheroes. I kind of surprised her with this one, uh, but uh, you know. <laughs> My two guests, uh, Jason and ba- and and Matt. Uh, oh my god! Jason and Batman. Jason, I was gonna say Jason and Baxter. Uh, Jason and Mac. You two um, are enthusiasts when it comes to shit like this, and I. I yes. I really want to know. I, okay, I, sorry. I, I know for sure already. You guys, you guys. This is your favorite version of the of the character on film. Um, let's start with you, Baxter. Could you tell me yeah, sure. what it, what is it about this movie? That out of the other three iterations uh, of the character that we've seen in on the screen, small screen and big screen, why is this one, uh, you know, s- standing out to you as the best? I'm gonna flip it right back at you because you've okay. never seen this movie before. So, like, right. I want to know what you thought of this. I would probably have to see this movie again. Actually, um, <laughs> we both are very endeared with this movie. I think this movie is great. Um, sure. 
I mean, in in relative terms, you know. Yeah. It's it's <laughs> uh, great at being what it is, and I feel like The Punisher is very suited to being this type of movie. Sure. And I think the the more you try and take The Punisher seriously in a television or cinematic context, the more you kind of like get away from what makes it good. Uh, okay. Or, or what works as a comic or and or like a this type of shit, like a grindhouse movie. Yeah. He's making <laughs> fucking Jason Voorhees. Like that's like the whole yeah. thing. He just kills. Make him or a, or make Jason him a horror, Bourne. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. the combination they're in. Yeah, exactly. Jason Bourne doesn't feel the need to kill everybody who is like on his shit list. Whereas the Punisher just sort of like robotically generally kills anyone who's like, well, you're a criminal, so like I'm. It's like you're right. a germ that I'm like wiping off, like a counter. Oh yeah, sure. and they, I, th- I thought they, yeah, that. they did a pretty decent job in the in the Daredevil show, but they also like, yeah, and oh, as, I'm, as, I'm not disagreeing. I as much that. as I enjoyed the scene of him like giving relationship advice to Karen Page, I was like, this is not the Punisher. No, you know? I think John Barenthal is like the most insanely great casting decision, but I don't mm-hmm. think they wrote him perfectly. I do think his performance is excellent. I think he's a uniformly solid actor. And and again, this is referring to the season, season two of Daredevil. Correct? John yes. Barenthal yes. is not in the Punisher movie we just watched. Right, right. I'm just, I'm just, for our listeners, or sure. our, our one listener, yes. that's me. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I, you know, uh, it's it's made clarifying. Of all uh, of all Punisher actors, I would put him neck and neck with Dolph. I agree. Dolph I think is they great. Capture what feels yeah. like quintessentially in my mind what the Punisher would be like, which is sort of like a Frankenstein monster that was like dope at killing. Yeah, sure. he's yeah. he's like a deadness that like a he's a bad actor, yes, but like b like it kind of works for the character, and like he did write that dope monologue, which is like really good. There's definitely more of a range here than than uh, Rocky IV. Oh, uh, uh, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> clearly. Uh, right on. Well, you know, like I thought it was fun. I mean, it's it's not a film that I uh, I I I think that I don't want to revisit. So that's a good thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what a ringing endorsement. Yes. Uh, right on. Well, thank you guys for joining us, um, Allison. Of course. Uh, and and Jason and Mac. It's always a pleasure. Uh, this is the VHS. Well, thank you for joining us. We'll catch y'all later. Bye.